Hello, everybody. Today I'm here with some more Dr. Mario World levels, and I'm feeling much more awake than I was before, although it has been a, a little while since then. Uh, I went ahead and beat all these levels right after I recorded that last one, and I had some work I needed to do, um, some sponsorship emails that I found that I'm excited to be working on. I haven't had a sponsorship in a very long time, and I'm excited about these brand new offers, but anyways, that's just something I said that I want to talk about, basically. <laughs> uh, I, I'm kind of bragging, but I'm just very, very excited about it and could not talk about it. But that'll be a while out. Um, but, I, again, I'm trying to unlock new character. I was like, okay, I'm just going to go until I get a single doctor. And they just kept not giving me any doctors. I wasted a lot of coins, you know. Doctor appearance rate boosted, you know, could give me a little bit more of a doctor now, now and then, but we're almost done here. I think this might be the, oh, this next one will be the last one for sure. And there we go, nothing. So we're moving on into the first level here. And I thought this one was pretty easy. This is the one that I accidentally played last time and thought it was a time stage, so I was throwing stuff down as quickly as I could. Uh, I don't understand how I thought it was a time stage because eventually I ran out of capsules, but I legitimately almost beat it that way. So, um, I, right off the bat, I wasn't too worried about it. The gimmick here is that you're not going for the viruses, you're going for the blue coins, which there are a lot of crates covering the blue coins, but there are some viruses around them as well. And the viruses will just, in general, help you clear a lot of them out. So it's in your best interest to, to hit those. Even if they're not near anything, um, you can get them to be near something and make it easier to clear it. Uh, eventually though, towards the end of the level when all the crates are gone, you're going to want to get those viruses away from the coin. So if that means you're hitting one and it might move to where a coin is, you probably don't want to do that. But there are some shells and blocks that are spawning in as well. The blocks can help to kind of um, hold a, a capsule if you need to, but mostly they get in the way. And then the shells obviously are very helpful. Uh, just depending on where they land, I suppose. Like here, I need to hit those crates quite a bit. So the placements there are pretty good. And I don't even think I've collected a single coin yet. But I'm about to here once I hit all these crates on the side. Uh, I might as well have brought it down to the green virus underneath and done it that way. But it doesn't really matter, I suppose. I mean, we already know that I beat this one. So it wouldn't have mattered either way I did it. And again, I'm hitting viruses. It's not completely necessary. But sometimes it just feels good to hit some viruses that are lined up nicely. And there, there goes another shell, which gets rid of all those crates on that side. And again, I'm just hitting viruses. It's not really necessary. I think at one point here I kind of just forgot that it was only about the coins, even though I knew that from the get-go. You just get too into it sometimes, I guess. And like, they lined up so nicely, how can I not go for them? We've almost got this coin here, we just need to hit that shell. That knocks those out. And... Now I go for the shells here, which will get rid of some of the things. Uh, there's another shell in the way now. But we've gotten another coin there. There are some crates at the bottom that will be the final issue. But I just need a few colors, really. Bringing down some reds. I considered going for the shell, but I didn't know if I'd go through the glass, so I just didn't bother. And there's the final coin. Legitimately could have been close on points, I'm not sure. But there's our reward, um, I think it said 250, so not great, as usual of course, but it's still, I guess, better than nothing to get 250 coins. Technically still helpful. Moving into the next one, another one that I thought was pretty easy, and beat on my first try. 
I mean, the only thing you can do just right off the bat is going for those uh, locks at the bottom. And that red one is clearly lined up a lot easier than the blue lock. So I'm going to go for that when I can. Bring down these blues, bring the reds in. I mean, I have this green one that I don't really need, but I'll, I have another green that I can do that with. Open that up. This green I also don't need, so I'll just put it down. They also gave me a double blue, so I can bring that down as well. And uh, now the rest of the level opens up. The middle is filled with coins, and you do need to clear all of them. There are a few doors, but they're not too difficult to get to. Although some of the keys kind of get in the way, like here, the red virus in between the key and the door, as well as the blue virus on the, the right side, are a little annoying. Um, but if you get through a lot of the coins, it shouldn't be um, that difficult to get to them, I guess. There are some just odd placements, but it's nice that you don't have to clear all the crates. And the doors are pretty easy to get the keys down to once you get that virus in between them. And that's really it. Uh, the, the coins make up the bulk of the level, and they're very easy to clear, so you kind of just clear them whenever you need to. Like here I have some reds that I can use for this virus, and then I might as well use these blues with this virus, and then uh, there's just one coin left that I can hit with that red one. And now we're in the final stages here. Deciding what needs the rainbow capsule. I guess we are kind of get close on capsules. We just got three more from Wario. Uh, I try to decide what the best option is here for getting these two that are lined up. I don't need blue anymore, so I use the blues to build up to it. Now I just have these final green ones here. And I just hope that four capsules is enough. Again, this one is probably kind of get close as well. Um, but I think I would have been fine even with like three capsules, honestly. But it was getting close and down to the wire, for sure. Th this next one, though, I actually did lose once. And I can't say specifically why. I, I did the same thing both times. I guess the, the second time I had a little bit better of an understanding. This is another one that you don't need to clear all the viruses for. Which I think, again, I didn't really care about the first time I played, which might have been why I lost. But the viruses either get in your way or are near some uh, blocks that have coins in them that you need to hit. I guess Wendy would probably be a perfect character for this one. Uh, but if you don't bring in Wendy, the floating viruses help you in the way that they often go back up to these blocks here, which will help you hit them the amount of times you need to. Like those reds both lined up nicely to hit all those blocks in there if I bring a single red into it. And uh, the bottom row of viruses all have a blue coin in them as well as I think yeah that this middle row also has blue coins within all of them uh, I think that might be all of the blue coins in total let me count real quick so yeah so the, all the blue coins are hidden within those two rows and then the three in the background there so the majority of the stage needs to be cleared, obviously, but uh, if viruses are out of the way for those blue coins to get rid of, then you're not necessary, or they aren't necessary to clear. I still need to hit all these blocks up top as well, next to the uh, electric bombs, and those will help out a little bit, but um, I'm clearly going to need some more viruses to go up there to hit as well. I don't remember why it took so long to consider what I was doing next, but... Now I, or I guess eventually I start working my way down to the bottom row, because that's a very important step as well. Um, yeah, I'm kind of at a loss of what to talk about here. Here I, I made a platform with that red so that I could hope to get this blue, which I do have a double blue here that I can use to do so. I'm pretty sure I used a double blue for that, right? Yeah, there we go. So now that block is clear, that means that red one on that far uh, right side does not need to be hit at all. Uh, and I try to unlock the final electric bomb, which I will bring a red down to whenever I can. That blue one lines up nicely to hit that block as well. There we go, another double blue for me. 
the electric uh, bomb doesn't really help me out all that much. But it does let me get to the bottom a little bit easier, so we start working on that. Again, if you hit all these guys once and they aren't near anything, you don't have to hit them again. But they are all necessary to be hit at least once. That final blue coin as well needs to be hit, and there we go. Now that one's clear. And the only thing I have left is to clear this blue one at the bottom and the green one next to it. So I can hit a few viruses if I want to on the way down, but it's really not necessary. Just another green will do it. And again, I'm just hoping I had enough points, although I was fairly confident this time that I'd be fine. So, yeah, it, it was pretty clear to see at that point that I had gotten three stars. And then we have two more. This one's another fairly easy one, I think. Although it is a little uh, claustrophobic, I'd say, is a pretty good word to describe it. And the bubble blocks kind of make for an odd way to play the stage. Maybe Larry would be good to clear out all the colored crates, but they don't get in that much of the way, I don't think. And there's so little viruses and stuff that uh, you just really need to get the colors you want to do everything you, you need to do. And I do start going for some of the crates right up at, at the beginning. And I don't know if that's completely necessary. I think you should probably head for that first coin, which is uh, kind of towards the bottom, uh, the bottom left. Uh, eventually, you, you probably want to at least unbubble most of these blocks because they will start falling and kind of get in your way at the bottom. If you can just unbubble them all once uh, before letting them fall, that'd honestly be a good strategy. And I didn't really realize what I was doing at this point. I just kind of figured it be, I'd need to clear all these out eventually. So I think it was a pretty good strategy in the long run. But now I'm finally like, okay, what do I need to do here? Nothing's opening up or anything. And, I think I finally start going for this key, or the, the, the coin, the coin. So now I go for this, or basically, yeah, it's just figuring out where the next coin is and then going for it. If you can clear any color blocks while doing so, I'd recommend that as well. If you leave most of the viruses to this point, you'll most likely have a lot lined up to um, hit the coin. And when I hit this one, a block will actually fall. So it kind of represents how if I had left all of them bubbled up top, uh, it would have probably caused some damage. So I do need to hit this key, or this coin, and I do have a double green coming up, which would be very helpful in hitting it. Lucky this uh, that crate was lined up very well. Now I have this red one down here to hit. I don't remember exactly what I used to do it. I guess I just bring this red down. Although I want to hit that other red one first before doing so, I think. And, okay, we'll do that instead, I guess. I was hoping that this green one would be the next one up, but it wasn't, so I'll wait for it. Uh, these blues are up next. Put that there and then line up some blues. Now two coins unlocked on that one. So we can go for both of them whenever we want, and I think all four of the bottom ones open at the same time. So either the green one is fine for that, then that one moved up, so I guess I can go for that green one next. Actually, do I get another double green? I might just hit that one at the side there. I can't see the, the caps as I have, but I'm just sitting here waiting, I guess. Okay, so no, I come from the top instead. It's an interesting choice, I guess. If I had a double green, I think that was not worth it. Yeah, I should just use a double green to hit that. Okay, whatever. We hit that virus there, now we get these blues lined up so I can hit all these uh, color crates at the same time. You can see how that one blue crate that fell kind of gets in the way now. Uh, if it wasn't there, these red viruses would all, would all be lined up very nicely. This blue uh, capsule kind of just fell in a bad place. There's not really anything I can do with it. I think, yeah. Okay, so I go for those reds and then I think about it, I'm just like, I don't need to hit any of these viruses, I might as well just go straight down and hit these final two coins. So again, when you're getting into the end game there, if you don't need more points, just go straight for the, the finale. And there aren't a lot of points needed for that level, so you should be fine no matter what you do. But we're moving into the final level for today, it is the hard stage, and I was forced to change off of Wario because... Even though Wario gives you more capsules, every time I ran out of capsules trying to do it. 
and while playing I discovered that it would make sense to bring in Dry Bowser and then when I exit out I actually realized he was a suggested doctor. So right off the bat you can hit this cannon. Uh, if you let the stage scroll once it doesn't matter because it's just doors. So you might as well hit it right away. And then you're going to want to hit these viruses up top here. Using that one to hit the blues as quick as I can. Now that actually works out really well because if I just clear that red one, now it opens up the middle for me. And doing the same thing once again, except these are iced, so I will need to hit them twice instead of once. So, um, I lined up a little bit better so that nothing clears out and my platform stays for a little bit. And now it, uh, Bowser kind of just cleared that other side for me, which I kind of have a habit of just hitting a character's uh, skill right away. That wasn't completely purposeful. Now I bring this one between the reds here because I can see there are some reds coming up that I can use to separate a single blue capsule and move to the right side. So that's what I do right here. Now everything falls down and uh, I kind of want to see the rest of the level because <coughs> if I let the stage scroll a little bit, I can clear a little bit more out. You know, I want to make sure that I'm hitting everything I can as I go. I don't want to let the stage start going if, uh, or I don't want to clear something before everything is on stage. Bowser hits a new, another few things for me, which is nice, but isn't going to be his primary goal. And you'll see, like, Bowser hasn't been all that helpful so far, but he'll be helpful eventually. Just hold on a bit. So really, at this point, we're just clearing whatever's in our way. Um, here I place that blue one pretty strategically, I think, and I actually get another double blue, which helps me hit all those in that T-shape there. And we're getting pr pretty close to the end here. I think there's just a few more uh, things to scroll, so I kind of start dragging a few down at a time to try and get the level to load a little bit more. I can see all these reds here, so I might as well start going for them. And I don't really know why I just did that. It didn't really do anything. But we're bringing down some more objects. I think that might be the... Or actually, I think there's one more row after this. This is the final row, there's one more after this. So we're very close to the end. Yeah, there's one more after this one. But there are only three rows left. And the thing about Bowser is he only hits two rows. At least at level one. I think maybe when you level him up more, he gets more. But either way, uh, the, the crucial part of Bowser here is you're going to get three stars. And all you need him to do is clear out the final two rows because those viruses are iced so much it's going to take so many capsules to do. If you clear everything before triggering his skill, uh, besides the final two rows, he will absolutely clear them. So all you have to do is clear everything except for the final two rows and Bowser or Dry Bowser will take care of the rest. So he's a pretty crucial character, I think, and I don't know how well this level would go with anybody else. Uh, I would highly, highly, highly recommend bringing him in for that level. But anyways, that's all the levels for now. Uh, I plan on uploading the next two tomorrow. So look forward to that. And I'll see you then, I guess. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.